and a crash leaves a mother and daughter dead and an eight year old son injured and a father with unimaginable pain and questions. Seven Action News reporter Saima Chowdhury is live in Detroit. She was able to speak with the father and Saima. First, we want to know how that boy's doing. Well, police say the boy is still listed in critical condition, and we spoke with his father, Denny Paget. He says eight-year-old Andrew is responsive, and he's fighting for his life. But as you can imagine, Denny is heartbroken that his wife, Sarah, and his daughter, 11-year-old Zoe, died in that crash. Now, the family lives in Gaylord, and Denny was in Ohio since yesterday for work when he found out about the accident. And right now, he's just trying to figure out why his wife would hop in the car with their two kids and drive more than 200 miles away from home. She was the love of my life. Denny Paget is heartbroken to learn his wife Sarah and their 11 year old daughter Zoe were killed in this crash on Shane Street and East Grand Boulevard Thursday morning. Their eight year old son Andrew was injured in the accident. Police say the car was speeding down Shane, hitting two poles before splitting into two. She's not one of those persons that speeds excessively. She's never had a ticket. She's 41 years old. And then to hear this, it's just like, it's, this is not her. The family is from Gaylord, and Denny was in Ohio at the time of the crash. He said when he could not get a hold of Sarah, he tried to track down her car, and that's when he learned of her last location. Detroit? What is she doing in Detroit? I live 250 miles north of there. There are many questions surrounding the crash. Denny says his wife was acting a little strange last night, but he didn't think anything of it. I'll see you when you get home. Last thing she said to me. Denny and Detroit police are now trying to figure out exactly what happened this morning. Denny tells us that Sarah was using a different cold medicine these past few days and her behavior was a little bit different, but he doesn't know if that's the reason why she got behind the wheel and drove this far. So many questions with very little answers. We're live in Detroit. Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News. Such a tragic ending, Simon. Thank you. And right now